Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying the new Oreo churros. I'm very excited. I had seen these pictures of these on Instagram for a while and a lot of you told me about them. Thank you very much to everyone who brought these to my attention and I thought, when are they ever going to get here? And so finally, they're here and I knew they would be here for two reasons. Number one, Robert, who lives in Kentucky, he, uh, I follow him on Instagram and he said that he found these at Walmart, but the same day we got the red plum um, coupons in the mail and there was a coupon for these in the mail and I thought, I know they're in our area now that they're giving us a coupon. So they were normally $2.98 at Walmart, but I got a dollar off, so they were only $1.98, so that's awesome. It says Oreo Meats Churro, now available as a melt-in-your-mouth chocolatey churro stuffed with rich cream with a crispy outside rich cream filling and an Oreo cookie pieces in every bite. It is the ultimate mashup. Four bites are 210 calories and there are several ways you can heat these up. You buy them in the frozen section, that's where they're at. Um, Heating instructions, you can cook them in the oven, which is how we're gonna do it, on 450. We're preheating our oven now. You put them on a cookie sheet. It did not say put parchment paper down, but I did anyway. Uh, you can cook them in a toaster oven uh, at 400 degrees, same, about the same amount of time, or in a deep fryer. Deep fryer, that's probably really, really good, but, um, We don't really have a deep fryer. Yeah, we available. have a deep fryer, but we haven't used it in a little while. So we would just be filling it up with oil for this one thing. So, okay. This is how they look. And so what the deal is, is it says, um, Preheat oven to 450, you remove the frozen churros from the box and place on tray. You heat in oven until warm, about eight minutes for the regular oven. And optional, you roll in Oreo crumb sugar topping. So I'm assuming this is the Oreo crumb. Yes, it says Oreo crumb sugar topping is right there. So there are more calories if you, um, if you roll them in that. I'll say right now they are smaller than what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. um, if you roll them in the sugar, it's 230 calories. Uh, we, since we're making four of them, we will uh, roll two and then keep two uh, unrolled and see how they taste. So we're gonna get these in the oven for about eight minutes and we'll be back. So while the churros are baking, I wanted to show you how this looks. Um, oh. It looks really good. It looks like a, a mashed up Oreo, the actual cookie part without the cream, and then you have lots of sugar granules. So I'm just gonna put a little bit in here because we're only doing two, and I'm gonna save the rest of this, and this bag fit perfectly in just a regular Ziploc quart Oops. bag. So I'm gonna put a little piece of tape on this and put this in the bag as well, and then put them back in the freezer. Okay, these have been in for eight minutes, and I would think they would be really hot, but they're really not bad. I'm, I'm not. Um, Scorching. I'm not burning myself or anything, no. But I'm not, I'm not feeling any cream either. So I'm gonna get another one, and so we'll, like I said, we'll try two that have sugar on them and two that don't have sugar on them. Okay, we have our churros, and I took a picture of them, so that will be at the end. I think we should try the plain one first. No sugar. It didn't say to wait to before you eat them or anything. They're hot. That's completely different than what I expected. Oh, I was not expecting that at all. You know what that reminds me of? Completely different. What? See if this is, okay. Picture this in your mind. Mm -hmm. You know the fish that you buy frozen? Yeah. If you were to take the bat, the breading off and just eat the breading. Not have that fishy flavor, just the breading. That's what that tastes like. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's just 
flour basically. It's yeah. It's, it really doesn't. It has a little bit of a chocolate flavor, but it's not very very strong. They're very tough. Mm-hmm. Deep frying, people will say deep frying is how you're supposed to do it because a churro is traditionally deep fried. Oh. Um, but our deep fryer, we don't want to get it out for just doing one thing. So, if I was doing a lot of things, it would be deep fried, but just this one thing. I tell you what, it's not sweet at all. That plain one, in my opinion, was not the least bit sweet. Yeah, I'm telling you, that tastes like the batter from. Like a fish. I taste a hint of chocolate. Just a teeny tiny little bit of chocolate. Yeah, it doesn't even taste like chocolate. It doesn't taste like chocolate. It doesn't taste like cream. No. I think we it have tastes had, like like a batter. Like literally a batter. Mm -hmm. You were right. I've had um cinnamon and sugar churros before. Mm -hmm. And they're really good. I like them. They're they're puffy and fluffy and, and you know, kind of like the, the twist at, at um, Taco mm -hmm. Bell. It's not quite a churro, but it's similar to it. Mm -hmm. um, and they're really good. This is very dense, um, not a lot of flavor. I don't think I'd, I don't think I'd recommend buying it. It's these. tough. It's yeah. not fluffy or flaky, flaky at all. No, it's not flaky like a pastry. It's very tough. Um, it it's does not, not taste like chocolate. It does not taste like cream. Mm -hmm. It is not very sweet, even with the, the sugar. sugar added on the top it does not it's mm. not sweet at all no. um for 200 and some calories yeah it's not it's not worth it no it's not worth it at all um sorry yeah i'm really sorry because kind of disappointed it, i was hoping for more <laughs> yeah it sounded they well they sounded like they would be something really they fun they sounded like something that adults and kids would like yeah. uh i would just stick with oreo cookies though yeah and they're easier you yeah. open the you open the package and you, you start, start eating. eating. You don't have to worry about yeah. cooking them in any way. Yeah, those are disappointing. These, yeah, very disappointing. I cannot imagine these staying around. I can't Because once you've bought them one time. And tried them. And tried them, you know they're not that good. Why would you ever buy them again? So you, once that initial people bomb, uh, I just don't see them sticking around. Yeah. Then again, there might be people out there that absolutely love them. We oh buy gosh. them all the time. If you love them, let me know. If you've tried these and you love them, please comment below. Hey, Tammy, I think they're really, really sweet because and that would just really surprise me because I'm not getting it. Neither one of us are getting it. No. So, um, anyway, that was uh, for us. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs>